Hello, everybody. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 730. It's brought to you by Gobi, Shrinkman, Your Turn RC, Steve B, and Teen Wolf Jesus. They support us on the Patreon, patreon.com slash phone losers. I was going to do a hobo so today, but then somehow this happened. So apologies to the supporters of the show. It's probably been over a week since you've had a hobo sewed, and I'll make sure that happens in the next day or two. It's a stupid twitch. It keeps making me do live shows. So that's what you're going to hear today. I did a live show earlier, and there's not going to be voicemails today. I've made that decision because it's much more important to me that I be listening to the Dwight show tonight instead of playing voicemails and doing a bunch of editing. So I'm just making this intro real quick. I'm going to throw the live show on it, and I'm going to post this show. So you all need to just excuse my laziness, okay? You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Motherfucker. Hello. Hey, I was calling about your, uh, the hydraulic hose. Okay. How much is it? Uh, it's $50. Just kidding, I already know it's 50 bucks, because you, you said it uh, on the radio. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? Good. So you're selling dune buggies too? Yeah. How much are those? That wasn't listed on the radio. Um, I've got one that's real nice. Equitech motor, four disc brakes. I drive it all over. I'm asking eleven on it. Mom. And I've got it. Huh? Hello. Who is this? Yeah. Yeah. My son says you're trying to rip him off on these hydraulic hoses. Say what? And I don't appreciate that. He yeah, is a nice what? man. <laughs> what? Didn't work. I don't know what I expected out of that, but... Your call has been forwarded to an automatic... They didn't even spell buggies right. I can't do butthole winking, because I'm calling up people on the radio. And... Uh... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know these people. Hello? Hello? Hey, I was calling about your 2001 Jeep. Yeah. Um, I was kind of interested in that because it's a pretty good deal. Is that still available? Yeah. Just, I I was I was out there looking at it, you know, like I I was I was looking at your Jeep and I saw you guys at your window up there, and one of you was winking your butthole at me, and it seems like it'd be weird to buy a Jeep from somebody that's doing that to me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What? What are you talking about? No, it's Can not, you say it's, that again? No, it's because it's not funny. You shouldn't do that to people. It's rude. I'm a Christian. And you're just repeat what you say. But you're just trying to make you're trying to make fun of me for being offended about what you were doing. What was I doing? Oh, you know what you're doing. I already exp I've said it once. I'm not gonna say it again. I'm a Christian. I mean, I, I know bye. I said that part twice, but the other thing, I'm not saying that twice. Okay, bye. What? Bye. No, don't hang up. I want the Jeep. I was hoping you could give me an apology <laughs> for what you... I thought you said you didn't want it because of what I was doing. What were you doing? This is a... Yeah. Oh, hello? Hello? She's... What? Oh, you, you went away for a second. Dr. Tom Servo is telling me that you're t trying to tell me that you're bi. Oh, I am? But I don't even care about that. That doesn't matter to me. I'm taken. I'm not interested one way or the other. Especially with you no, winking your... Because you know what? I wouldn't I wouldn't go out with someone that hey. does stuff like that you hey. do. What? I'll send you a picture of my titties. Wow, your girlfriend laughed at that? That was barely even a joke. That's not... <laughs> she must be a really simple person. I'm not... I'm not his girlfriend. Oh. Him. Oh, your brother. No. Why are you doing it with your brother? That's weird. No, it's not my brother. Gross. It's gross. <laughs> Very gross. All right, look. I, I don't want your... You know, I don't want your Jeep. You got some guy over there off for me to... Offering to send me his titties. That's weird. <laughs> fucking weird. You guys are a bunch of weirdos. And I'm a Christian. Occupation is not free, man. Tell that guy in the background he's a simp. He's a what? Oh, you heard me. He's a simp. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Hey, 
don't no. know. Just like you didn't hear that first thing, and you're trying to make me repeat it for some reason? Yeah, because you wasn't on speaker then, you are now. Okay. <laughs> if only I had figured that out when that first happened. Who the fuck is this? Just go ahead and tell me who it is. I don't want you your Jeep anymore. I'm hanging up. I gotta go. I have other people to call. Okay, I don't want you to have my Jeep. Good, because huh. I'm not buying it, who mother asked, motherfucker. Who asked, how, who asked you to call me? Nobody. I. You were on the radio. My mom was on the radio, actually, not me. So. Well, I don't appreciate you insulting my mom like that. Trying to make my mom jokes at me. I'm just trying to buy a stupid Jeep. No. <sighs> Look, I'm leaving. Fuck you bah. and fuck your Jeep. Bah. What? Bah. Why don't you pronounce it right? It's not bah. Bah. All right, bah. I don't like that call. Maybe we should go into this next one with a plan. Um, Harley Davidson items. I could be a lawyer. That's my plan. Because you know what? I've been contacted by Harley Davidson lawyers. Or at least interns that are in the law department. Sending emails. Telling me that I can't sell buttons with Harley on it. Where did my Harley button go? Hey. Hey. You reached ah. Oh, Nine hey. Points. Don't do that. That sucks. I really wanted to be from the Harley Davidson legal department. But I guess that's not happening. Hello? It's about time you picked up. Jeez. I was calling about those Who is it? I was calling about the TARS. Oh, I'm sorry. I, my phone my phone got turned up, uh, down. I didn't know it. Yeah. Are you yeah, right. Are those tires still available? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of tars are they? Like they didn't say on the radio, they said tars. Well, uh, his post put over 33 inch by 15 inch. That's pretty big. I mean, that, I think that's about what I need. Yeah, that's what it says on here. R15. Yeah. 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 R15 tars. So it's yeah. just it's two tars, yeah. or, or it's like four. I, I've got I've got three. What it is a 33 inch by 1250 by 15. Uh, what's the girth? The what now? The girth. What's the girth of the tires? The tires. I really don't know. I, I'm not that familiar. How are you selling tires if you don't know what the girth is? Well, they just come off of a, a used truck we had, and we put new ones on them and just sell them by the size. What color are they? Oh, you know what, hobo hobo? You keep making people hang up on me. <laughs> by forcing me to say things that make them hang up. That was all your fault. It's okay, though. I don't really blame you. Here, let me... Here, I'll try right back. This is Larry. Leave the message. I think he shut off his phone. Here's a washer and dryer. Hello? Hey, I was calling about the washer and the dryer. Hello? 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 Hey, can you hear me? Damn. What? Hello. Hey. Hello. Who's it? Hey. Hey. It's 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 Brad. Who? Brad. I don't know Brad. I'm calling about the war washer and dryer. Hello. It's done gone. I know. I'm the one that bought it's it. Done gone. I, we bought it. We're the ones that bought the washer and dryer. What was it done? The one that you sold. I had some that wasn't done. You had it on the swap shop thing, on the radio. Yeah, yeah, but I still had it. You said they're gone. Uh, the other one you said you bought it from me then. What? Why'd you say you just bought it from me then? Well, why? Yeah, I ain't nobody sold like nothing. Why'd you say they're gone? Sounds like you're a dishonest. Well, what, you're, you a dis, think, you're a dishonest businessman. Well, don't you do? I was, come on, but don't come on, but no goddamn more. I was just testing you, and you failed the test, motherfucker. All right, everyone's just gonna hang up on me today. Oh, oh shit! Hey, can you just hold on? Someone's calling me. 
Um, oh, never mind. Hey, I was calling about your border collie. Uh, it's already sold. I know. We we you know we came by and got it. Say what? We came. We we were the ones that came by and and picked her up. We renamed. Nobody's her. picked her up. <laughs> what do you say she was sold for then? Because I've already got her promised to somebody. Well, that's different than sold, isn't it? I'll give you cash. No, it's not. You're some kind of a scammer is what you are. I was trying That's what to... what you are. No, I'm not. I, I wanted a damn Border Collie. I love myself some Border Collies. And, and you're acting like you sold it already? What? Do I not sound white enough? Are you white or are you black? I don't know. Well, sounds like you do. Because you won't sell me your Border Collie. No, I won't. Because I don't got a promise to somebody, bud. Bullshit you do. I'll give you twice I as do. much. I'll give you twice as much as the, how much are they giving you? Like just 150? It don't that's none of your business, man. Look, look, ma'am. I must have this border collie. I'll give you three hundred dollars for it. You're not getting the border collie, okay? Why? Just because you promised it? Those are made to be broken. Come on. N no, my promises ain't made to be broken. Well, you're not a very good businessman then, because I'll give you four hundred dollars. Listen here, buddy. My word is as good as anybody's, okay? Yeah, not if I give you five hundred dollars though, right? Why you keep on going up? You're scamming. Well no, you're just an idiotic businessman. You don't you don't understand a good deal when you hear it. No, you're an idiotic like, like, businessman. Well, I'm not a businessman. I just want to buy a stupid border collie. Alright, well And here you are screw not, your business and screw you. I don't have a business. You have the business. You're, right, you're yeah. the one selling shit. You're low down, dirty, whatever. All right, today's show is just going to be me yelling at people and them hanging up on me. That's today's show. That's today's plan. Yelling at people and getting hung up on. Hello. Hey. Uh-huh. I was calling about that uh, firewood. All right, buddy. I don't know what that was about. Somebody's got my number mixed up with theirs. I I've been getting a bunch of calls. I don't Look. know what it's about. I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna confess to you, I'm the one that did uh -huh. it. I'm I'm the one that did it. I called the radio station, and I gave him your phone number because I didn't want to give him mine. So, did uh -huh. you did you write down any of the numbers of the people that called? Because I really want to sell this firewood. No. Do you have caller ID? Can you look on your caller ID box and tell me the numbers? But, uh I don't keep any of that stuff. I delete all those numbers day to you don't, day. You don't delete your caller ID box. Nobody does that. Don't be an asshole. No, Just give me the numbers. <laughs> I need, uh, I need to sell my firewood. My log splitter. Hello? Hey. What are you yelling for? <laughs> hey. What? Talk to me. No, you just yelled Talk at me. I just called about this girl's bike and you're like just answering the phone and screaming at me. No, I'm just that kind of person. I, well, you, and I will make myself clear. You got on the phone and you just like, hello. Oh, <laughs> see, yelling and hanging up. Oh, yeah. Um, Your call has been forwarded to an. So he hung up, but the guy, the Harley Davidson guy, tried to call me back a minute ago, like right as somebody else picked up. So I can give that a try, I guess. Hello. Hey, uh, this is Steve Dave. Um, I called about your. I was calling about your Harley Davidson items. Uh huh. Do you still have those items available? Hang on one. Hang the, on one minute. I'm at a wedding. Let me get somewhere I can hear you. You're at a wedding. Hey, yeah. Uh, it's over with. We're just outside. Let me get up here on the hill where I can hear you. Okay. I think I can hear you now. Oh, great. Hey, um, do you have any of that Harley uh, Davidson stuff that has a pride flag on it? I've been seeing That's a lot. What? The pride flag, you know, the rainbow flag? Mm. For the gays. I don't know. if I, I hadn't, what, what, hadn't went through a lot of it. What oh. all, what all stuff do you have? Where'd it come from? Did you make it yourself? No, I had a good friend passed away, and he was a Harley man. I got 
cleaned out his estate. I got uh, saddlebags. I got seats. Uh, I almost got a. I got heads and jugs and pistons and camshafts, and mirrors, and foot pegs. Oh, I thought you meant like uh, Harley branded cams. Okay. I, I'm actually, it is Harley. It is Harley stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, I, you just mean that it goes in a Harley. Like it's not like doesn't have the cool logo on on like all the little engine parts. That'd be cool though, wouldn't it? Or do they? I don't know how Harley works. Most of it's got the Harley emblems on them. Sir, I'm gonna have to come clean with you. My name is Steve Dave. I work with the uh, Harley Davidson legal department, and you can't uh-huh. be you can't be selling uh, counterfeit Harley Davidson merchandise like this. It's not counterfeit. Oh, how do we know that? You said you you don't even. From the Harley, it was, yeah, trust me, it's not counterfeit. You said it came from your dead friend, and he sounds like a scammer. No, sir, he's not a scammer. Well, well I can promise you that all this stuff is legit. He but, rode all forty-eight states on his motorcycles. Well, yeah, but you know, there's a lot of counterfeit merchandise out there. Chances are that some of it's counterfeit. Uh, do, do you have the merchandise nearby? We're gonna have to perform some tests. Uh, no, do you, I don't have it nearby. I'm gonna need, I'm, I'm I'm gonna need to get the merchandise and some hydrogen peroxide. We're gonna do something. Right, Let me tell you, it is not fake. This stuff was all bought from Harley dealers and Harley shops. Yeah, but you sound like you don't know what you're talking about because you said there's 48 well, states. Don't call and me back, as you know, there's 50. <laughs> Wait, okay, that was not the hobo's hobo that ruined that call this time. That was, uh, launch. Launch our rocket and mass two. It's all your fault. I just got hung up on. Oh, well, it's okay. All right, fireplace insert, uh, power saws, leaf blower. I don't get that. A fireplace insert, wood with fans and thermostat. Does that mean, is it like some kind of an electrical thing that replaces your fireplace? Yeah, hello. Hey, I was calling about that, um, you know, the fireplace insert. I can't hear you. The fireplace insert. Yeah, yeah, I, I got one. Yeah, yeah, I heard you on the radio. Yeah. You married? I I can barely hear you because I we're moving in a vehicle. Oh, I see. Uh, turn up the volume on your phone. Just turn it up. Duh. Nice loud as it go. All right. Look. I look. Look. I'm. Let, let's just be straight with each other. That's a, that's a figure of speech. I know what fireplace insert means. Uh, it's just that uh, you know, I'm kind of new to all this. Where where are we gonna meet? I'll, I'll have to call you back when I get home because I can't, I can't hear you because I'm going down a hill and up a hill and, I, and you're, I can't hardly hear you. Why don't you stop? As soon as I get back, as soon as I get home, I'll call you. I'm, where I'm, I'm, I'm several miles from where, where, I'm, where I'm at. You just, you just pull over. Just pull over into the field. I, now, what were you saying? Fireplace insert. Yeah, I got a uh, Pioneer uh, fireplace insert, yes. Sir. I know. I know that means gay sex. So I'm interested in the gay sex. Is it going to be with you or somebody else? It's my, it's my insert. Oh, I know. It's going to be your insert. Yes, it's, it's mine. The only reason I'm getting rid of my wife can't, uh, can't stand uh, wood is the tires of sciences up. Sir, I love you. That's the reason I'm selling it. You're selling it because I love you? Do what? I'm trying to tell you that I love you. That's good. And also, you shouldn't be driving drunk. Cause you know it's no, all. I'm not. Dr- I'm not drunk. But it's all fun and games until you get in a wreck. Like you take those turns no, slow, okay? Cause I don't want you to get hurt. I know you're drinking. I ain't drinking the drop. I'm coming back from a sale. No, I know you're drinking. Oh. I was talking to the people from the sale, and they're like, "Oh my God, Brad, he's drunk. You need to call him." 
and just keep them talking. Uh, do, you, do you know who you're talking to? Of course, you have the fireplace insert. And the pa- yeah, I got a fireplace insert. Yeah. You, you shouldn't be driving drunk. Like, you know... You, I ain't never, never going to drop my life. You could, I ain't even never had a beer up to my mouth. Look, did, did, you, did my number come up on your phone? If you ever need me to give you a ride somewhere, I'll drive you around when you're drunk like this. I don't... Look, if, I don't want you... If, if you're... I don't want you... What? Sir. Am I drunk? Sir. Hello? Oh, hey. I was talking to that drunk hey. drunk guy on the phone, and he's trying to say he's not drunk. Do you, are you drunk, too? Do you think you could drive for him? Hello? Hey. Can you hear me okay? Hey. Yes, I, I hear you just fine. Okay. You need to get that guy to pull over, and you need to drive, because he's drunk. Well, I am driving. That guy is sober. He don't drink. Oh, no, he's definitely drunk, so you must be the drunk one, then. Excuse me? Look, I'm his sponsor. You're what? I'm his sponsor, and he's not supposed to be drinking. You shouldn't be letting him drink like that. sponsor? Thank God he's not driving. Man, you really got some problems. What do you... No, no, he's the one with the problems. He's the one drinking too much, and, and you're enabling him. Okay. I was trying to give up on that one because he couldn't hear me. The guy before, I mean, and just turned into that. He was drinking. I think someone in the chat room said uh, he was drunk. Your call has been forwarded to ah, an automatic voice message system. That's a bummer. It's another Harley one. <laughs> call back is Carol. Okay. Hello. Hi, this is Carol Gerst Burns. Ma'am. Yes. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Uh, my husband was telling me that you've been drinking. I drinking. Okay, well, as long as you're not driving. But, you well, know, I, you're not supposed is this to... A, is, is this a prank or something? No, it's not a prank. Why would it be a prank call? Oh, I don't know. I'm just coming back from the... I'm coming out of the mountains. I'm coming out of the mountains. Who's that? Who's that laughing in the background? Has some kids that went with a sail with us. All right, you tell them kids just to shut up. Oh, okay. I'll tell them to shut up. Can they hear me? Hey, kids, you shut up. Yes, ma'am. Now, how can I help you? Tell them to zip it. Hey, kids, you zip it. And you better not be giving them any alcohol. I ain't even know how I got on this truck because I ain't never talked about beer in my mouth. You, you keep the, you keep your alcohol out of the reach of your children, okay? My children don't drink. My children is uh mm-hmm. is grown up. Oh, just like I you got, don't drink. I'm talk I'm talking about those kids, the kids that are with you. Oh, they not old enough. Like they, they're kids. That's what I'm saying. You, you keep that alcohol away from them because you know they they might, never, they might try to get some. They might try to get some. I ain't never had no alcohol in my hands. Never? And never? I'm, I'm, six, I'm 66 years old, and I've never drunk a drop. You, n- you never even had a glass of wine or champagne? Uh, no, no. You never? You never my, what? The only habit I got is chewing the back. Well, that's even worse than drinking. You should take up drinking and just give up on the tobacco. You know no. what? Drinking's not so bad when you think about it. Well, I just ain't never took up the habit. I bet you those kids could get you some alcohol. They probably have some, like, stashed away in the rooms. Ask them if they have any alcohol. How can I help you? Uh, I was calling about this uh, fireplace insert. Yes, I've got one. It's a, it's a Pioneer. It's a fireplace insert. It's got a thermostat control, fans, mm-hmm. everything on it. So the you're reason supposed- I'm... The reason I'm selling it is my wife, when she was bought, when she was little, she had a, she had a pneumonia and she can't stand no uh, smoke. Mm. So I'm I'm going to okay. sell it and I'm going to put in a gas box. So so this thing runs off of gas? No, it's a wood fireplace. It's a wood. Yeah, it's going to catch on fire when I st- start a fire inside the fireplace with that in there. 
Yeah. Is a wood burning fireplace insert? Yeah, that, that thermostat's liable to melt. And that's, I'm going to say it, I'll take $600 for it. Okay, but it's made out of wood? Ma'am. What? Well, it, take, it, take, it takes about four people to load it. It's that heavy. Oh, I could probably do it by myself. I've got it in my house right now. It's still in the fireplace. But the squeeze I sell in, I'm going to buy a brand new set of gas, uh, gas logs to put in this place. So you, you just burn like regular logs in there after you put the insert in? Ma'am. Yes. Yes, hello? Yeah. Oh, you just burn logs in there? You just throw logs in there and set them on fire? Yeah. Yeah, far, far wood, yes, ma'am, wood, yeah. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pour a bunch of gasoline in there. Really get it going. Uh, you will put. No, you can't do this here because this here's a fancy heater. It might, it might bust something or tear something up in it. What part of it is made with wood? Or is it just the, My, out, uh, the outside? Oh, you put oak or oak, hickory, anything like that that you won't put in it. I'm gonna put dynamite in my fireplace. Okay, i would put dynamite in if you want to. I will. I can do it if I want. It's my house. Yes. Okay. That's fine. All right, so you know fireplace wood insert is a, a code word for gay? Yeah. Yeah, why were you coming on to my husband like that? Do I? You were coming on to my husband, and we're happily married, sir. Very happy to marry coming on your husband. Yeah. I tell you, I'm, I'm as tired of, I'm tired. I've been going since 4 o'clock this morning. I give out. I don't mean to be rude. You were saying you I wanted to, have, I, you were saying you wanted to insert, insert your wood into his fireplace. That's that's disgusting, sir. I, I don't have to sell that heater. I can take that heater out and throw it behind my house, and I can haul it for scrap barn. Thank you. You have a good day. I love you. All right. Whoa, both of my voices came through. That was weird. All right, we got nail guns and well pumps and drain pipes, all code words for gay things. Hello. Hey, I was calling about that uh, drain pipe. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah. Great. I was calling about your drain pipe. Oh, the two foot? Uh-huh. So that is that is yours then. Yeah. I'm calling from the radio yeah. station. You're not supposed to be selling things like that on the air like that. That's that's not cool, sir. You know, this is a family station. We got kids listening. Lots of kids listen to the radio these days, you know. What in the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about drain pipes and well pumps. We know what those are code words for. And this is not that kind I'll of... I'll tell a... you what. What? Say you from W... Yeah, that one. And you're not supposed to be selling Why stuff like that on our station. To hell? Hey, you can't say that to me. I work for the radio, sir. <laughs> I can say what the hell I want to. You call me on my phone. Well, you I know what? You. You're you're banned from selling things on our station because we don't put stuff like that on on the air. That's that's obscene, Thank you. obscene and disgusting. You, you <laughs> thank you. You you gaze with your code words. <laughs> I'm no idiot. I know what a drain pipe means. And a well pump. I tell you what, I looked you it sound up. like a damn idiot. You know what an eight foot by two foot drain pipe is? That's like a blumpkin, right? I looked it up on the internet. That's like code word for a blumpkin. <laughs> you don't know what the hell you talking oh, about. Oh, yes, I do. And you can't be selling stuff like that on the radio. We get complaints about people like you. <laughs> and you tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up. Fuck off. Hey, you shut the fuck up, lady. You go straight to hell, you call this number again, and I'm going to press charges on you, asshole. Well, you tell your husband to stop doing gay stuff on our station. What station is this? Oh, you know what station it is. It's the station that he was selling stuff on. Selling all his gay stuff. Got a little bit of wife action there. She told me what's what. Oh, Beryl, I, I have 
so I have not heard a single thing about Pranksgiving. I also never log into Skype anymore. I think that's where they might message me about it. Uh, I'm going to listen to Dwight the Janitor's show tonight, and I assume he will say something about that. Uh, also, uh, there's a meetup happening like right now, apparently, or, or maybe it's over by now. I don't know. Dragon Mirror and Waste is doing that. So, hey, you guys, I saw Dragon Mirror in here earlier. So if you guys are listening, howdy. Hope the meetup's going well. Uh, but anyway, like uh, I assume Dwight will talk about Pranksgiving this year. I'm sure it's happening. Oh, and some of you might be asking, what the flip is Pranksgiving? Let me tell you. It's 24 hours of prank calls. It's a thing that Carlito started, and now I guess Dwight is taking care of that. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. I assume he did last year. So every year, a bunch of us prank callers, we all make a bunch of prank calls for 24 hours. We really make you sick of prank calls by the end. Yeah. Ugh. Hey, I was calling about that um, cherry wood bed. Sir. Yes. Yeah. You need to tell those kids just to zip it, sir. Tell them to zip it. I don't tell them. All right. You know how I don't you know, know how kids are. Yeah. Hey, uh, you seem to have several things listed in here, sir. Right. Wait, did I call? Yeah. Him? Oh no, I, I I was. This is the you're you. It's the air compressor. You're selling an air compressor too. Yeah, I've got an air compressor. Yeah, okay. I'll I'll leave you alone. I know you've had a hard day. You've been at it since four in the morning. You just got back from a sale. Yeah. Plus, you got all those annoying kids to deal with. I, I them a little kids that would go to sale with us. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you just want to kick back and relax and drink a bunch tonight. No, I don't drink. I'm going to go home and drink a glass of tea. No, nah, you can drink alcohol. It's cool. You don't have to hide it from me. I'm on your side. I, I'm your friend. I don't drink alcohol. You can admit... I ain't never going to drop alcohol. Well, that just sounds like a lie. Come on. Everyone's drank a little bit of alcohol. Uh, I ain't no liar. You better watch what you say now. O- only someone who's incredibly drunk would say it like alcohol. Well, I've never drunk no alcohol. Or no beers or no nothing. I take too much medicine to do something like that. What kind of medicine do you take? You got any good stuff? I, I take Caesar medicine. Nice. I have Caesar. That stuff will... Mm-mm. Hey, you want to sell some? No, I'm I'm fine. But Have you ever had near beer? Have what? Near beer. It's like beer, but not really. It's like nearly beer. It's like not- no. I'm, I got a piece of steel in my ear right now. I'm just, I was reading. I can't hardly hear you. I got it working on the truck. Oh, that's awesome. Have you ever taken cough medicine? Mm, cough medicine? Yeah. Uh, no. No. Yes, you have. You never had a cough. I take, I take a flu shot every year. You shouldn't be lying in front of those kids. I'll uh, just call me back when you get when you get time. For... Hey, you know what? Those flu shots, those have alcohol in them. Well, I guess I've drunk alcohol in. If they got, if a flu shot's got alcohol in it. Yep, yep, you're basically a, just a drunk. Oh, good know. All right, hey, sir, I love you. I hope you're enjoying this. All right. I love you. I'm just trying to tell you I love you. Oh, good know. Have a good evening. Sir, you're making it weird by not saying it back. Well, I don't love you because I don't even know you. You should love everybody. That's what Jesus would do. I do. I do love everybody. Then why can't you say I love you to me? Well, uh, I love you. you. my wife. Look. Well, you, have, you have a good evening. Okay, we're going to hang up now. I love you. Have a good evening. Say, Bye. Say it back. You're making it weird. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try to remember not to call that number back. 
I don't see it anywhere else on this list. Uh, all the giggling in the background is making me laugh. I couldn't help it. Is there a time change? Like tomorrow or something? There's not a time change. That's crazy talk. Your call has been forwarded oh. to an automatic voice. I want to ask if the bird cages can hold a small child, but they're not picking up. So we get an extra hour? Is that what it is? Yeah, that makes sense. Awesome. I'm going to sleep so late tomorrow. Totally not going to get up at 6 Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. Game hint. What? Game hens? This guy's selling game hens. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. Does that mean you get to shoot him? Like chase him around and shoot him? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. Well, shoot. Um, that's like the end of this list. I might need to take a break and find some more list things. Or I could just go into my prank request folder and tell someone to set their clocks. So that was my whole plan for today's show. I, uh, I just called a bunch of swap shops. Hello. Hey. Hello. It took you long enough to answer. Hey, Joshua, it's your neighbor. It, it's Roy. Who? It's Roy. I'm with the Homeowners Association. No, you're not, Roy. What do you, I am too, Roy. What do you mean? No. Who, who do you I, think I, I am I'm, if I'm not Roy? I know what my own name uh, is. I, I don't give a shit what your name is. You're not part of my homeowner's association. I am too, the HOA. Uh, Roy, I don't know you. Listen, sir, I was just calling to tell you to set your clocks forward. And you need to do it right now while I'm on the phone. It's a new rule we, ha we have here at the HOA. Hey, shut your face, first of all. No. You can't make me. Let me put it this way. I don't have to do what you say. Way. Because you know what? Let me put it this I'm way, with dick the HOA face. and you're not. What? Let me put it this way, dick face. You ain't nobody to me. And I'll put it to you this way. You can shut your fucking mouth. You can fuck yourself in the ass. And you can go ahead and fucking talk to your kids that way. You ain't talking to me that way. You got it? Talk to my kids what way? T tell them to like change, I don't give change, a fuck. change their, their... I don't give a fuck. Their clocks? You can shut your mouth. I am going to tell my kids to change their clocks. What? What was that? Jeez. That was weird. Oh, gosh. Who's calling me back? All these people are... Oh, he's calling back. Hold, Hold on. Hello? Hello? Hi, who am I speaking with? Oh, this is Carol. Who's this? Hi, Carol. Is uh, Roy available? Oh, Roy's in his room right now. He's He's, uh... Yeah, he, could you go ahead and get him? Sir, he's taking a little a little break right now. Uh, he's, he's No, uh, go in, ahead and get him because he no, just called me. No, he's in trouble and he's not allowed to use the phone, so he definitely did not call you. Listen to me, Carol. Whoever Roy is just called me. Well, that's my and son. was very abrupt and rude, and so. He, he's underage, so. I don't so. give a shit. Our, I don't our, give a shit if he's in his room under house arrest or whatever the fuck you want to call well, no, it. No, it's, it's a grounding. I, I grounded him. It's not house oh, arrest. Oh, yeah. Don't, how don't be how weird. old is Roy? Well, that's none of your business. He, he's way too young oh, for I you. Oh, I sure the fuck is if he's going to call me and I, threaten I'm not me. Gonna let, I'm not going to let you talk to him if you're going to curse like that. Because uh, Roy's well, not allowed to what? say those curse words. Guess what? I'm going to go ahead and report this phone number to the police. All right. You, you tell, you tell and... the police that you're calling around asking for, uh, you know, to talk to teenage boys. I'm sure they'll be oh, real interested in that. teenage boys? teenage boys that's what it is so they get my phone number they call me and they tell me they're part of my hoa oh so it's mm. a they now and then yeah, there, was, there was two teenage boys uh you tell me carol well you just told me it was multiple teenage boys calling no, you I just before it was just multiple. one I before it was just one boys because that's what your verbiage was teenage boys calling you no no hmm. you said it first so think about it think about it you're These are your words. Don't spin them around. Listen to yourself. What, what are you doing? You're, you're tattling. You're tattling on children. You need to grow up, I'm sir. I'm tattling on children that are doing malicious things. Well, what did they do? That, what, what did he do that was so malicious? Their parents aren't enough to regulate them. Hmm. So that's tattling. Well, guess what, Carol? You haven't even told me you're what he did. You're going to have to go ahead and grow tell, up and be a parent. Tell me what he did. And take care of your son. That's a teenage boy. I think someone needs to take care of you in a motherly fashion. Yeah. That's not a threat, okay? No, it's not a threat. I'm just going to go ahead and report this to the police. All right. That your son is calling people and threatening them. Look, I think you should know something. You'll go though. ahead and deal with it your way. I, all right? I need to let you know something Thanks, about Carol. Roy. 
but there's something that fuck I really wanted to let him know that I was Roy whatever I should... whoa hello hello harsh hello I'm calling from the homeowners association hello hello I'm calling from the homeowners association okay all right, there's a lot of noise happening over there. I thought I heard a lady oh. answer. What happened? Yeah, yeah, this is, this is harsh. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, uh, I just, um, you know, it's a clock changing time tonight. Yeah. But we're not going to do that here in the neighborhood. Okay. We're, we're kind of taking a stand against it, and if enough people do it, they're probably going to get rid of the stupid clock changing law. So we need you to not okay. change your clocks tonight. But then uh, it will all like uh, the other people will uh, still follow the routine. So how it will yeah, help? You need to spread the word. But if we find out that anyone in this neighborhood is changing their clocks, you're going to get a fine. It's going to be a fifteen dollar fine for changing your clock. Okay. Who is, who is this calling? Uh, this is Roy from the uh, homeowners association. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but uh, this is uh, like uh, it should be. It shouldn't be mandatory. It should be. Uh, like uh, uh, oh, we're how, making, how, how it can we're making it mandatory like do, do not change your clock so we're going to be checking just to make sure we're doing so you'll you, you barge inside you, you'll barge inside the house and well, you'll check the clock no we'll, we'll knock but um, okay. you know you need to let us in to take a look at your clocks if because we just got to make sure you're not but I, I, I agree I agree with around. the sentiment but I don't agree the way we are handling this Right. Yeah. Well, it's just stupid. Like the whole time change thing is stupid. We ain't, we ain't farmers here. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it sounds like you're kind of itching for a fine. If you're 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 talking like you're not going to do it. Uh, yeah. It's it's uh, it's if, if if you just put push it this way, then yeah. You're not allowed. To, uh, it's a it's a new rule. So we, how you how we, you are how you are different from the government? Well, we voted on it. And I, I'm not trying to be different. I, I just, I want people to stop fucking with their clocks. It's annoying. Okay. What? Uh, oh, this is the Roy from the neighborhood association? Yes. Yeah. So just do not touch any of your clocks. And if any of them like change by themselves, you need to change it back. Because you don't want to get a fine. You don't want to get a $15 fine. Because it's $15 mm. per clock that we find. A park lock. So yeah. this includes the mobile and uh, oh, yeah. the computer you laptops sure that, and you, like, you and, know some uh, people have been saying, clock. you know what, you can't change your mobile clock. It, it it changes itself. But no, you can go in the settings. You need to go in the settings of your mobile phone and tell it not to uh, do the daylight savings. So I think I think I'll wait for you so that you can help me out to change because oh, I haven't no. changed it. No, so I'm, just... I, I'm I'm not gonna help you out. You need to figure it out yourself. It's very easy. That's, Let's go to the settings. No, I... I'm not a tech techno person, so you need to help me out. Okay. Well, sounds like you just want to get a fifteen dollar fine then. Okay. Sounds good. Good. Okay. Don't make us take your smoke detectors away. Sorry. You heard me. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Tell me. No. No. I already said it. You just rewind and <laughs> listen again. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I love you. Yeah, thank you. Have, uh, have a great you, weekend, you need, man. You need to say it back, sir. I love you. You're making it weird. Say, <laughs> it, say it back. I love you. <laughs> you know, you know, I do. Yes, but why can't you say it? Say but I love I you. But say I, I love you too. To, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to get committed. It's a little. You know that, right? What do you mean committed? You're not going to be committed for loving somebody. <laughs> I love everyone, man. Good. Say it. Why say I love you, you too. No. Why? <laughs> I just said I love you, and you're you're not. Oh man, I think you're leaving, you're having fun tonight. Leaving me hanging. This is great. This is great. It's a bunch of bullshit, is, is what much. it is. Oh yeah, I know. Everything is a bullshit. All right. Anyway, I need to go on. I love you. Yeah. Thank you. Say it back, please. Say you love me back. Yeah. Thank you. You so, want to talk to my kid? No. You're making no? it now. You're no. really making it weird. Why? But you know what? I bet you the kids wouldn't be afraid to say <laughs> I love you. You know, maybe you should say I love you to your kids every once in a while. Because you know what? I do. They need to hear that. Oh, I, I don't believe them. you. Because you won't them. say it to me. I see them. I see them. They see me. We express while we are 
uh, ta- like at the uh, yeah, but sometimes you, you got to say it why too. Did, you have why, to say why it. Why don't you come over? Why yeah. don't you come over? I don't want to come over. We'll I got talk. I got phone calls to make. <laughs> Thank you, Roy. Thanks for your call, man. All right, tell that kid to shut up. And also, I love yeah. you. Oh come on! <laughs> now you're asking him to shut up. Why? Well, because he was he was being very irritating. You were trying to talk, and he's back there but going. That's, mm, that's, mm, that's, mm. That's, 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 that's that's what the kids are for. No, They're that's fun. not. They, try try to have some. They need to be seen and, seen and not heard. Tell them to how shut many, up. How many kids? How many how many kids do you have? That's none of your business. All right, I gotta go. I love you. Okay. I love Thank you. you. Thanks for your call, man. All right, I love and you. Have a great weekend. I love you too. Yep. Bye. I love you. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't talk to the kid. He sounded like he's two or something. What am I gonna talk to him about? Now I'm just looking at other prank call requests. You know what? I am I need to end this show. I'm not doing a show all day. I do want to do some of these calls, though, that uh, What's-His-Face suggested I do. I need to tell them to change their uh, their clocks. I kind of went the opposite way on that one. Hello? Hi, Jennifer. Yes? It's uh, Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yes? Uh, I just needed to make sure you're changing your clocks tonight because it's mandatory this year. Some of the residents didn't change their clocks last year. And we're instituting a uh, $15 fine if you don't change the clocks. I'm sorry, what are you talking about? Um, Well, you know, it's daylight savings tonight. Yeah. All right, you need to go ahead and just start changing the clocks tonight. Because we're going to be checking tomorrow. We're going to be spot checking. We're going to be just, you know, knocking on random doors and... Whatever me, lady. Sorry it's not working, Mr. Hoboist. Hello? Hi, Steve? Speaking. Okay, it's uh, Roy from the Homeowners Association. Are you yes. ho- Are you home right now? No, I... Okay, we're just want to make sure that everyone gets their clock switched tonight. Uh, you know, it's daylight savings starting tonight. Uh-huh. And we're making it mandatory this year, so, uh, you know, there's going to be fines if you don't switch all your clocks you need to make sure they're all switched like the microwave clocks you know just the various devices around your house that have clocks on them okay so, has that been done yet or are you planning to do that this evening because we might be doing some spot checking tomorrow what this is this some kind of joke <laughs> no daylight are you sa- kidding me daylight savings is a very serious matter most states participate in it all right, um, I will set my clocks back, and thanks for the reminder. Now, apparently, it, it actually ends tonight. Daylight saving ends tonight. All right, it doesn't, all right. It doesn't begin, is what I'm saying. Fuck. Good job, Hobo. You made him hang up. We're always making people hang up. Hello? Hey, Mark. It's Roy, your neighbor. I'm sorry, who? It's Roy. You're, I'm with the, the Homeowners Association. Okay, yep. Uh, they wanted me to just give everyone in the neighborhood a call and let them know that it's uh, daylight savings and we're making that mandatory this year. Okay. So uh, you have to set all of your clocks back. Uh, they're going to be sending pe- yep. people around to check on that. So if you have a microwave clock that's, that's off by a little bit, um, it's going to be a $12 fine. I'm sorry, you're who? Oh, this this is uh, Roy with the Homeowners Association. Where do you live, Roy? Um, why? Uh, cause I'm curious. You're going to find me for not turning my clocks back? Well, not me personally. It's the Homeowners Association. I don't live exactly near, near you or anything, though. Did he, did he just call me an asshole? I was trying to look at the map real quick so I could tell him where I lived. I wasn't fast enough, though. Hello? Hey, Zena. Hi. It, it's Roy, your neighbor. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey, um, like, I was just wondering, like, how come you keep coming over with hand armfuls of leaves and just throwing them in our yard? Oh. You, you. You keep walking over here with armfuls of leaves and just throwing them in our yard. And that makes it so we have to rake up more. Can you please stop doing that? That's not me. I'm sorry, we're not doing that. Oh no, we might I, have the wrong. No, I, I know it's you. It's it's no big deal. I'm I'm not angry or anything. I was just hoping you could cut that no, out. No, I'm sorry. It's not us. 
I haven't been even outside in the yard, so I don't know what you're talking about. Who is this? We we have one of those doorbell cameras. We can tell it's you. you don't so have, do we. You don't so ha- do we. What neighbor are you? Okay, I'm outside. I'm going to go outside. What well, neighbor that, are you? It, does, it doesn't matter that you have one. I'm no, not the, it does I'm, matter because not, I have the doorbell camera too, and I'm going to watch who's doing it because we're not doing it. Well, no. I don't know what you're talking about. They're throwing the leaves in my yard. But nobody in this house has been outside to do it. That's except, what the problem is. Except for you. No, you like for weeks now, not necessarily today, but you're doing it. Okay, a, I think you have the wrong number or you're pl- you're pulling a prank. I'm I don't know who you are, but you have pr- the wrong number. Can you just like put your leaves in trash bags instead of in my mm-hmm. yard? Uh, you guys, I think the show is over. We've had some fun. Thanks for all the suggestions and everything. But you know, I got editing to do. I got shit to do here. Oh, hello? Hello? Zena? It's Carol. <laughs> Carol Gersburns. Your neighbor. Sorry, that didn't go too smooth because I, I, I hit the, the show's over, you guys. Thanks for listening, everybody. See you next time. Okay, Pam speaking. Hello, Pam. It's Roy Bell. Yes. I'm calling you from the corporate cell. Okay. There's a problem you need to know. Your system's down and the network's slow. Oh, great. Every time you make a sale, the board lights up and the hard drive fails. But don't worry, we can make it stop. Head to the back and find the breaker box. Okay, now just you listen. You need to flip all the switches. All of them? We're resetting the system. I'm scared to do this. Flip all the switches. (laughs) We'll fix this now. We need your help. This is a part of working in retail. Okay, then. Don't you worry. We're almost through. Open the door, label panel 2. Okay, now just you listen. We gotta do this now. You need to flip all the switches. All of these in front of me? We're resetting the system. Well, what system are you trying to reset? Flip all the switches. I know you hear alarms going on. Am I supposed to be doing this? And you think you need to call your boss. Customers? coming in. (laughs) Keep your focus and please ignore them. This is the worst problem I've ever seen. Oh, great. Now it's affecting all of the machines. We've got one last chance to gain control. Hold on, then. Find the door labeled 900 volts. Okay, now just you listen. You need to flip all the switches. We're resetting the system. It's going to shut the whole store down. Flip all the switches. It's okay, ma'am. The lights went out. Look, there went the light. The circuit's waiting for another route. I can't see anything. Keep flipping all the breakers down the road. Four, five. Oh, shit. You're on a cordless swap. Hello? Now do I turn them back on? Yes, ma'am, you turn them back on. Uh, hold on, then. Every, every time you turn one on, you have to tell me that you turn it on. You have to say one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it looks like everything's back on. I'm checking the board now, and as a matter of fact, some of the lights are now turned from red to green, so it's actually working. And I'm green on that it's side? Really fun. Yes, ma'am, it's, it's a very successful job. You've done a very good job. Have yourself a cup of coffee on the house. I, I've never, ha- I've worked here for over a year and I've never had anybody call me in the middle of the night and have me do that. So, it so. happens from time to time, ma'am. It rarely happens, but it does happen. Okay. So, all of my computers and everything will all come back up and everything? Yeah, it might Just take like about everything. two or three hours, but they will come back up. Okay, then. So, it's okay for us to hang up then? Yeah. <laughs>